Hello everyone, so today I will show you how to hook up uh, how to use your GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi 4 computer, single board computer. However, this will work on um, other Raspberry Pi uh, single board computers as well, like the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, 1, and 0, or whatever. So, I'm going to hook this up to the breadboard. I already hooked it up. But I'm going to take everything apart and put it in there. Check this out. And just create the circuit from scratch. So I'm using a 330 ohm resistor. So here's a LED. So I just put it into the breadboard just like that. So the longer side is here, as you can see. And I'm going to put the resist 330 ohm resistor right here. I'm going to put it in there just like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this part, the shorter leg of the LED, which is the negative part, and connect it into this part of the breadboard where you see negative just like that and the um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this which is on this column of the resistor and connect that to pin before I do that I'm going to connect this part to ground So I'm going to connect it right there just like that and connect it to ground on the Raspberry Pi. So that would be the fifth pin on here. So that's, there's many ground pins, but I'm just going to use the fifth one here. So one, two, three, four, five. See that it's connected to the fifth GPIO pin. So the type of pins you have to use are, um, it's not a male to male pin, it's a male to female pin, which you see right here. So this part is the female part and this part goes into the Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. I put it in pin five for ground because Um, let's see, I'm going to use pin 11, which is right next to it. Kind of hard to get in with this case. But it's perfectly possible. It's possible to do it. Okay, now it's in. Now it's in there. The way it's counted is like this. So let me get a piece of paper to illustrate it. The way the pins are counted is like this. Um, it would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, so this part is the ground pin, which I connected from my breadboard to my Raspberry Pi 4. And this is pin 11, which I connected from my um, breadboard to my... Um, Raspberry Pi 4 and this is the pin I'm going to be using for this tutorial so that's that's it so it's all connected so it's all ready to go type in Python to get into it if it doesn't work then it's pseudo Python I'll run pseudo Python so it's 
import rpi.gpio as gpio and we're going to put gpio and we're just going to use the board numbering system i think which was 11 gpio board enter no mistakes there gpio set up so it'll be pin 11 gpio dot out the next thing i'm going to type in is gpio so the output 11 and 1 is true and 0 is false so i'm going to put 1 and then press enter so now you could take a look at the board and now it's working this light green led light is uh flashing on and the next one is I'm going to turn turn this off so I'm going to put GPIO output 11 0 and then I'm going to press enter and then now that LED should be off which is which it is and I'm going to use true and do the same thing so I'm going to put GPIO output 11 true GPIO oh I didn't I typed it in wrong the 11 true enter and then this should be on again which you can see clearly uh, with this stuff you have to get all the caps right and type in everything correctly for it to work um, so it's GPIO I'm gonna turn it off now I'll put 11 I'm gonna put false enter and that should be that should be off and it is off so next I'm going to clean the pins for the GPIO so we're not gonna have any errors later do so you want to clear clear out everything that you use on this code on this on this command prompt or whatever and then just clear everything out and let's get out of here by pressing control D and um, let's create some scripts so you don't have to go in there and type it type it all up which could be a bit uh, laborious so I'm going to create a script called uh, on off nano Just type in nano and I'm going to type, uh, type in on and off dot py so that's to create a python script and press enter nano on off. Let me try that. Okay, that works. So uh, let's create a simple script. So I'm going to put import import uh, de delayed. I think it's time. I think it's time, yeah. Next, I'm going to put import um, RPI, the command that I typed in before. But I'm just going to type it all into the script file. So, gpio.set mode is gpio. We're going to be using the board, not, not, uh, BCM so press enter after you're done so it'll be uh, the green light will be set to 11 GPIO set up green GPIO out so GPIO
dot output is green and it is true which means on or like I said you could use one if you want doesn't matter the so time is sleep so we'll put it at two seconds it will be on and then next thing is GPIO dot output so be uh, green again and that would be false now that would be off so time will sleep for let's say one second so next we're gonna do GPIO and output and that would be green again we're only using the green LED so that's and we're going to put one this time that would be on the so time sleep that will be on for five seconds and then the last part I'm going to put GPIO out put green and this will be off zero so time I don't put I don't think we put time sleep on that that's just <coughs> that's basically it for that so uh, we'll put in GPIO we're going to clean the pins and exit the program so type in control I mean put push press the control O key and then press enter where you see right here that's going to be the name of the program on off that py I'm going to press enter and to exit it's um, control X right there that's it um, this program I created was on off so this will be um, to run it it's Python well, I'll put pseudo python on off.py. And as you can see, it is running. See? Exactly how I wrote it. Now it's off. So I'm going to run it again. Okay, it's on, off, on, okay, that's it, that worked, so that's how you uh, write a simple program for Python, and have it, uh, a simple Python script, and have it uh, display on your uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, four, or three, or two, or whatever, I think it's all the same, it doesn't really matter. That concludes our simple tutorial, and I will show you how to. Uh, I'll show you some Python stuff as well right now, so you could write simple Python scripts. So I will write a simple mathematical Python script, which you can see. I'm gonna put create another file. I'm gonna call add add num. That's what I'm gonna call it. Whoops, I screwed up. I didn't put PY. Um, okay. I'm going to put nano. Add num.py. Okay, so I'm going to put... Uh, I'm just going to create a simple program for counting some, something. It'll be z equals 1. We're, we're going to start as z equals 0 while x I mean z is less than equal to 10,000 I think you just press tab here like that so call it print z or we could put print z press tab again and it's uh, z is equal to z plus one and then I'm going to press enter 
and then press Control O again. And as you can see, this is the name of the file that I'm creating. Adnum.py. Press Enter. Uh, press Control X, and then I'm out. So I'm going to run it sudo python adnum.py. That's odd. Nano. I forgot something. I forgot the. I forgot that. That colon. So, Control O, Enter. Control X. Pseudo Python add num .py. So it added up all the numbers from zero to uh, ten thousand. That was pretty darn fast. Let's do another. Let's go back. Now no. add num .py. Let's do a number from let's say about ten. Zero to uh, less than equal to 10 so control O enter control X uh, sudo python adnum.py I typed it in wrong adnum.py Okay, it added the numbers from 0 to 10, just like that. So, um, I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out.